All right, now looking through the Discord, man, we got Galahan requesting the hashtag SFAMREACT and link to the video requesting us to react to today, y'all. Brandon Herrera explaining us today about the Maxim, the machine gun that changed the world, man. I've never heard of this before. I've seen a little picture of it, but I didn't look at it very well. I don't know. Ready to get into it, man. Big, big shout out to Galahan for requesting this one, man. SFAM stand up, salute, stay focused, motivated. Get motivated up in the jank one time. Let's learn something about this machine gun right here, y'all. Let's go. Iconic historic belt feds. You might think of things like the MG42. The that PKM. thing looks freaking brutal. Or even the M2 Browning 50 cal. See, now this is the one I know. That's the my baby right there. The machine gun that gets often overlooked is one that changed firearms and warfare forever. I'm talking, of course, about the Maxim water-cooled machine gun. It's water-cooled. It looks almost just like a 50 cal. It looks like a 50 cal. Where do you put the water at? So what exactly is it? So this is a finished made water-cooled 1910 snow cap maximum. It looks machine. small too. This man. particular variant is chambered in 7.62 by 54R, the same caliber that the Moser shoots. And in fact, the belts can be interchangeable between this and the PKM. Now this gun was made in 1942, but the Maxim itself was designed in the 1880s. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Less than 20 years after we fought a war using muskets, we had a relatively a modern gun, so belt-fed freaking... machine gun that's still in so service smack today. Down, you but feel before me? we get too crazy into the history, got a loaded belt. 7.62, man. There's where you put the water, okay. I would think the water would start boiling after a while, man. Shooting in sandals too. Was that were those rounds were those rounds shooting with the beat? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, oh man, history fucks. Now, I would like this gun, this weapon, I would like this weapon, especially when you compare it to the 50 cal, because it'd be a little bit easier to manage. It's not as, you know what I'm saying? It's not as crazy. Although I do love the racketness from the freaking 50 cal, you feel me? I do love it, but I think I, would, I might like this one a little bit more as far as operation is concerned. Look wise, I wouldn't like it. I don't like it as much as I like the look of the 50 cal. And maybe that's just something that would have to grow on me. But I've, you know, I've experienced the 50 cal since I first came in the army. Never got to experience this one. So maybe I'd have to shoot it first to really see how I really felt about it, man. Let's go. POV, your tribe has natural resources. So my friends, this right here is the Maxim machine gun. One of the oldest machine guns ever built. In fact, probably the oldest, if you're talking about what we consider to be like a modern belt fit machine gun. When you see guns like this, you probably think of like World War I and maybe some of course. fucked up shit in Africa. But what's mind blowing about this gun, this design, is that it is so fucking old. The Maxim machine gun was first designed in 1884. 1884 man that's crazy that was 30 years before world war one even began for context most of the world was still using single shot rifles at that point and here a maxim comes along and said hey guys i let's got go an ahead, idea let's go ahead now, and a make lot of people automatic. think that the let's mosin nagant is the oldest weapon that is still kind of seeing service today which is understandable i mean this thing was designed in 1891. so it is mind-blowing to me so that this was before this that belt-fed machine gun came out seven years before yeah, this bolt crazy, action man. rifle. So when I say that this gun was ahead of its time, this gun was ahead of its fucking time. Mm -hmm. I mean, this shit is what happens when you max out your RPG stats on science and you accidentally get better at killing. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to operate this, uh, cause you never know. It might this is gonna be a tight, trick man. one day. Let me just start by saying that this design is genius and that's because the designer here at Maxim like design, was a fucking genius. Not just a gun guy either. The guy designed all sorts of shit. He was fighting Edison on patents to the light mold. He invented things like an early version of the inhaler. Hell, he even had his own design for a helicopter. So when I say this guy was a bona fide mad lad, I'm not exaggerating. Get 
I wonder with it being water cooled, if you have to change out the barrel every once in a while, like you have to with the 50 cal or your freaking 240 Bravo. You see what I'm saying? Or even your M24, your M24, uh, 249. Your M249. So yeah, let's go. Dank you on the phone, because this was a fucking mad lad. Also another fun fact, his son later invented the silencer. Ship off the old block. So first okay. off, it's water cooled. What does that mean? Well, instead of using air to cool the barrels like most modern machine guns or using swappable barrels so you can just change the barrel out and keep firing, the Maxim opted to cool it with water. So you got this little cap here, comes off. So you don't have to swap the barrels out because you're cooling it off already with the water. And holds water around this shroud, around the barrel. So if you're planning on running this gun a lot. Now I would imagine. Sometimes they'd have an external reservoir that this leads to and basically Change it just out acts the water. as a radiator to keep cycling out the hot water from the shroud and bringing in the cool there water you go. to keep the barrel There you go. Cool. Now backing up, we've got our belt fed assembly here, our belt feed assembly. So this right here feeds in from the right side and the belt comes out the left. Now you might notice there's not enough space here for a cartridge or a casing to come out the left side. So what where does the hell's up from? with that? Well, it's very cool and I'm glad you asked. You're very astute. If your father very was still astute. around, I'm sure he'd be astute. proud of you. That's because this machine gun does not eject from the side. You see, the Maxim machine gun actually ejects, ejects from the bottom through the bottom of the okay. gun out this little hole. Okay. Here. And if that looks like it shouldn't work and would jam the gun like crazy, congratulations. That's exactly what I thought, but it fucking works. That's crazy. Look, okay, there you go. So this carriage assembly is uh, not original to this gun, but it is original. For our sights, we have our rear sight here that can it flip looks down like, a little, uh, like makes that. It look like a little house. Nice flip that back up and it also has this slider just like uh, you know an AK might have I say AK really any you know sight aperture at the time also goes all the way up to 2,000 meters which is slightly wow. optimistic okay. but when you're talking about high volume of fire accuracy through volume counts just look at all the fucking cosmo I like I just like in volume. this carriage assembly it's uh, I like volume and machine guns because you can literally like look at the ground where your freaking rounds are going you're wasting rounds but you can literally walk your rounds up to your target, you know what I'm saying, as you're freaking blasting them, man. This weapon's pretty tight, man. This weapon's pretty tight. I, Like I said, I'd have to get used to the design. I love their wheeled tripod, if you will, bipod that they have this thing on. That's pretty tight. It's, it's just old, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this thing is cool, man. And it, it blows my mind that it's freaking water-cooled compared to air-cooled. You don't have to change out the, the barrels. Just let the water flow through it, you see what I'm saying? So that's kind of tight, man. Let's keep it moving. Yeah, this thing was in storage for a good minute. So now to rack the gun, you've got this lever here, which you actually have to rack twice. So you have to pull the belt through, if you noticed how it was working earlier. You, you pull the belt the in, round. you rack it once, and that starts one round going. Now if you rack the gun again, you can pull the belt farther through while you're racking it, and now you have the next round where it needs to be okay. for this gun I to thought it was... operate flawlessly. So now when it's time to pull the trigger, we've got our very familiar Machine gun uh, you go. spade grips here. With the butterfly Operational. trigger. This is our trigger, we push this forward. There's a little safety mechanism here that blocks it. So you just push this up and you are Start ready shooting. to fire. And as long as you hold this down, it's gonna, gonna, gonna go. Machine. 